What's good? It's Kelby Cannon, publisher of Making the Magazine, founder of the membership, and we are at the kickback. I'm joined this time with special guests. For sure. LNS. Big Ski. Yeah, yeah. And together they are. Sheesh. Sheesh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm the third member. I just got in. Ma, I made it. He did. Hold on. Right on I got to right do my Instagram video. Put the chain around my neck. You <laughs> fuck niggas better recognize. <laughs> nigga, you fuck bitches. Somebody tell me be humble. Somebody yeah, tell me be humble. Hold on. Hold on. Hit the brakes. Hit the brakes. Yo, I love yeah. that video. Yeah. I love that video uh-huh. because it's so real. Yeah. Like, no, because it's like, when you do this thing, when you do anything like that you work hard for, That's especially right. in this creative space, people who aren't a creative don't understand this. Mm-hmm. You can have a million people supporting you, but it'd be like a hundred people that right. like that are tear you that like yeah. shit on you every time. They make sure they show up on every post. Like, right. Like, right. fuck this nigga. They make their job to hate. You know what I'm saying? Sure. It's yeah. Their job. But mm-hmm. it's like people like you can ignore them. It's like you got all these people who support you, and I can understand that because like that's like someone called, if, if one person called your child ugly, you're going to remember who that was for the rest of your life. Man. Right. Like these these records is your babies. Like yeah, you sure. you put a very conscious effort into every bar, into yeah. the beat selection, the sequencing. Everything. The and whole so, process. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it's like, so like I understood mm-hmm. like the, the reaction when it's like, nigga, we here. Yeah. <laughs> that was Ski. Yeah, right. Ski turned so, up. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's been sure. a long road, man. Yeah. No, but at the same life. time, I also understood. Hey, humble yourself, yeah, like yeah. to 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 keep track. Like, don't make this moment of accomplishment about them. Them, right? Ooh. Sheesh, that was that's a bar. Yeah, that's, that's real, man. It ain't about them for sure. For sure, it's about us. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and everybody who helped us along the way to get to that point, to this point. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, for sure, that's a fact. From Indiana, sure. no less. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. <laughs> From yeah. Indiana. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Long you know, ways away. Yeah. You got to say that shit loud. Like, cause what? They, they act like we ain't out here. What? They act right. like but motherfucking yeah. baby face wasn't from the... It's they act right. like motherfucking Mike Michael Jack. Jackson yeah. wasn't from... We claiming right. them. We right. claim. I don't give right. a fuck about that L.A. shit. Them. We claiming them, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, for sure, for sure. Yeah. But, so so let, let's start at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Tell, tell us about growing up in Indiana. Like, growing up in Indiana? Uh... Man, it, it, it's it's crazy because we originally from Chicago, right? But it we was like one of the first waves of Chicago people, mm-hmm. our family, to move to Indiana because it's only like an hour and a half away from Chicago, right. Elkhart, Indiana, to be exact. It's like an hour and away from an uh, hour and a half away from Chicago, but it's like it's kind of like it wasn't as intense as where we from the west side of Chicago, right. but it was, still had certain elements. Because it was Chicago people sprinkled out, Detroit yeah. people. It was like a melting pot. You get know what I'm saying? So it still yeah. had elements of, you know what I'm saying? You got to be on point. Can't just be, you know, doing with the, you know, doing anything you want. It's, it's certain hitters that'll get at you. It's certain rules you got to abide by. So, you know, for us, you know, we still, we still was on our P's and Q's for the most part. But, you know, our mama, she just didn't want us living a certain type of life that yeah. our uncles live. You know what I'm saying? Ultimately, we we still, you know, got in the mix or whatever, but, you know, I, I can't even sit up here and say, like, we street niggas, right. quote unquote. I hate that. Me, per- I don't say that. I mean, like, like but we, see, that that's that's my problem yeah. is these labels. Like, yeah. I ain't a street nigga. Yeah. No. Nah, but all. it's like, like I, I computer program code when yeah. I was 12, 13. But like I grew up around this yeah. shit. Like so it's yeah. like certain shit like as this is a fucking man, like I see like nigga, you goofy. Like what the mm-hmm. fuck? Like yeah. and it's people who still that are grow up in that, but they Yeah, it's it's and to the me, rules is crazy. It's it's, it's crazy. <laughs> see, like we dibbled and dabbled in the streets, yeah. you know what I'm saying? We did XYZ too, but we went on the block yeah. every day, just like I'm a street nigga. Like yeah. what the fuck is that? Like, you know what I'm saying? But it's just like, man, we we been through our ups and downs, bro, and you man, know, we, 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 so, yeah, we survivalists for sure. Yeah, like you do whatever and, you got to do. In to... my opinion, like I kind of like watch what I like. If I if I deem something, if I d- decide to put my opinion on something that would be considered goofy, right? Right. I just try to not do that because, like, 
ain't really nothing changed from like as far as like the big aspect of things as far as from when I was goofy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? From when I was making fucked up mistakes and facts and 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 was too impulsive, you know what I'm saying, based off my situation, right. which was probably at home or probably some shit I was going through in my mind or some shit like that. But you know what I'm saying? Niggas be making it ain't always goofy. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes niggas be going through stuff. You know what I'm saying? Somebody, you know, they just needed a role model or something like that. Right. Anything. It could be anything. When I see a little nigga that look like me, act like me, talk like me, and he made a bad decision, oh, I be trying to understand right. the goofiness of it because we don't know the full details. Mm -hmm. you we was young and reckless just like and a lot I was. Of, and lot I, of and I made a, bad, a bunch of bad decisions based off what the hell was going on around me and what I needed. Right. And sometimes some OG or somebody that was a few years older than me would consider that goofy. Mm -hmm. But I called it on time when I needed it, you know what I'm saying? So that's just all, you know what I'm saying? So, different strokes for different folks, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for yeah. sure. No, I definitely, like, and that's when I, when I say that, like, in terms of the, it's just like, I don't recognize these street niggas now. Like, right. niggas, it's like, right, like, right, right. It's like, right, right. It's like this, 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 this ain't the street shit yeah. that I grew like, like, yeah. like. I don't understand what this is. That shit <laughs> like, overrated, and, and it's like, bro, to like some, to everyone some, I knew was for a reason. Yeah. It was like a purpose behind necessity. it, right. or it's, a form of necessity. Like, like, like you said, niggas survival. is doing it for content. Yeah, for, like, for what content. the fuck? Risking your whole life. <laughs> For content, wow. it ain't that serious. You know what I'm saying? But like, no, for real, bro. Right? Yeah, for sure, fact. And it's like motherfuckers. Like, to sum it up, bro, we didn't been through our ups and downs and shit. You know what I'm saying? But not to ever discredit our mama. Like, we we grew up Section Eight projects. Yeah. We didn't see murders when we was five, six, bro. Like, people get shot in the head, die right in front of us, and all type of crazy shit, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's like. To give bro, our mama, but that ain't no discredit to you. Like, no, like, no, yo, no, no, no. That's no. the world. Like, no, that's, that's the like, world. Yeah, that's the shit, world. Shit. No, I'm like, talking about far as yeah. like us growing up in like poverty. Like our mama tried. She was a hustler. Like, yeah. you get what I'm saying. So I never make it out to like we grew up in the struggle and shit. But I, we didn't have the hardest life. We right. we had right, a right. Nintendo 64. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying. <laughs> like we had, you know what I'm saying. But we did grow up in in the struggle. But my mama and my step pops and you know we made the most of what we had, you know what I'm saying? Like, they had to do shit that they ain't proud of, you know what I'm saying, yeah. to to put food on the table and shit like that. But my key point is, we been through the, we from the hood like everybody else, you know what I'm saying? But it's about what we doing now. We we, we breaking generational cur curses. Facts. You feel me? Like, that's a big fact. Like, we come from the struggle and shit like that, but now, out of our family tree, you know what I'm saying? We don't we don't have any millionaires in our family tree. We not millionaires yet, yeah. but we, it's soon to come. It's, it, we 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 spoke this up. We worked this up. We believe in God. You know what I'm saying? Our faith is real. You know what I'm saying? The grind is real. So we breaking all type of generational curses to where we both was in prison. Bunkies. This was my bunkie at one point in time. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But we ain't, we ain't doing the the recidivism. Back to back, coming right, back three, sure, four, five, sure. six times. This our whole life. Nah, fuck that. We got bigger, better things. I got five children. He got nieces and nephews. You feel me? So it's like, we proud of that. Yeah, we didn't fucked up, made bad decisions like the rest of the youth. But it's about what you do to to, to break them curses, to make your life better because it's bigger than you. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's like, shit bigger than you, bro. Like, just jumping in, like... Cause I think it, it's it's very interesting speaking to that point. Mm -hmm. Like when you say like nothing with your moms, yeah. Like you feel me? Yeah. Like love our mama. It's <laughs> like I think most, if not all, did the best that they could. What? Like because that's all that they yeah. like. Because like we talk about generational curses, they wasn't the first ones with it. Yeah. They got it from their grandma. Facts. And they Big got it from their great grandma. Yeah. And so it's like sometimes it's like having to realize like like shit. You look like me, so I know we got a lot yeah. of in common. No, like, absolutely. Like, so. And it and it is is like like a lot of stuff that you were saying. Like boom, same thing here. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Yeah. And, and it's like I think that's one of the things. And when it comes to our music. Yeah. Too, when it mm -hmm. comes to our art and, and our culture, is like um, like how it all gets wrapped up in one. Like this, this, this street shit 
gets wrapped up in the music shit because it's our culture. It's like For sure. it's like black culture, street culture, hip hop, all of this shit yeah. gets wrapped up into one and it's hard to pull yeah. apart the different things. Mm -hmm. Um yeah. So so that that was a, just an interesting point. No, nah, yeah. respect, bro. Yeah, it's just sure. hard sometimes. It you know, shit get blurry behind that smoke and mirror of trying to entertain somebody, or trying to entertain the world and trying to keep the, like that same like a level headed of okay, what's reality and what's what I'm trying to entertain. Yeah, you know, some people be getting you know. I'm I'm assuming some people, you know, they don't they don't know how to balance that as good. You know yeah. what I'm saying and. But you know, it, it comes with the music. With the music, you know what I'm saying. Like you were saying, like a lot of people are are you know saying what is what is going on around them, what's going on with their parents, what is going on with they in their relationship, what's going right. on at their job or whatever. You know what I'm saying. And sometimes that might just be all BS, or it might just be deemed all BS. But that's I just take it as that that's that's that man's life. Right. That's all he got to talk about right now. You know, if he becomes successful, he might have better things to talk about or it might right. lighten up it might go in a different direction but right now that's all he got so do you decide to listen or not you know what i'm saying i think like this is my thing why um drake hold on one second I'm move this up so. so so here's my thing with drake mm -hmm. and this was my um it was like an article that i wrote about him like this was a while ago and i used to talk to my artists when i would do consulting work and i was like drake don't win and he's gonna kill all of you. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I called this shit like in 2009, 2010. I'm right. like, cause he rap about regular nigga problems. Yeah, right. Yeah. Everybody out here trying to be super nigga. I sold three bricks, fuck four yeah. bitches, and killed two two Quill old bricks? sides of town yeah. before the <laughs> intro was over, no, nigga. Like man. Drake trying to get his bitch back. <laughs> yeah. Every day the nigga shit. Like, yeah. Right. Every, right. Day like, day nigga every nigga shit, that man. went through that. Mm -hmm. Nigga, yeah. nigga, whether you on the block. Yeah. Or you motherfucking stocking produce at all these right. niggas. Like, <laughs> Damn, this bitch didn't left. Oh, God. I ain't gonna cheat no more. I promise you. Like, I got you, baby. Yeah. yeah. And so Come it's back. like sometimes it's like the it's like the outlier stories are the sexiest because it's like it's something special. Mm -hmm. Right, right. But and we everybody kind of likes them and it and it gets people's attention because it's an outlier. Yeah. But not everybody can relate to the outlier. Right. So we like the AP, we like the woke up in a new Bugatti, but yeah. nigga, if you write a, 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 a nice ass record about a Honda Accord, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, half the world gonna feel it. Yeah, half, half the world gonna feel it. Yeah. For real, no, yeah. that's real, yeah. and that's what we do too. Like we, we, our music is relatable. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Relatability is 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 key. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we got a little jury or whatever, but like, this shit don't make us right. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't hold this shit. You know, it's symbolic, if anything. Right. It like, you take this shit off me, I'm still the same person. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm me. You know what I'm saying? Re regardless, jury, Bugatti, whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? And he, him, it's the same way. All this shit is symbolic. And it's like, I feel like when you let the materialistic things make you, that's when you get lame. Yeah. That's when you corny. You Ooh. see what I'm saying? Like, it's it's okay to have nice things, bro. Like, I want a Lambo one day. Like, you know what I'm saying? I want a, like, a, a mansion one day. Like, I want, we about, we gonna put our mama in a mansion. Or not, or a big house. She don't want a mansion. She wants something that's too big for her. But, you know what I'm saying? Eventually, <laughs> in due time, like, sooner than later. But, like, ain't nothing wrong with that, bro. We come from 17 of us living in a three-bedroom house, bro. Mm -hmm. Renting it. Yeah. Literally, factually, 17 of us, 10 cousins, me, him, that's 12, five, well, four aunties and my mama mm -hmm. going through it, yeah. but surviving, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, it's only right for us to want better because we come from the bottom. Yeah. But it's like, to me, when rappers flaunt their shit and do their shit, I, I do nothing but, you know, I salute it. It's, it's cool. It's just don't let it consume you. You can't never get mad at a man for wanting a mansion or a nice car. Like, it's what, how you go about the shit. Right. You get what I'm saying? When you trying to shit, shit on other people right. who only come up just like you are, right. that's when it's lame. And, and so you get what I'm saying? To the, that's some of the goofy shit. Yeah, the goofy shit. But then shit. also speaking to your point earlier, like understanding the context of the goofy shit. Yeah. And so this is one of the things that like it, it that I've come to my belief 
and just this this understanding is shit. We were slaves. Yeah. When like, you go deep, yeah, like for when, sure. And the, like everything traces back to slavery. Yeah. Right? <laughs> like, yeah. Like, but it's just like when, like, like to the point that like our society, like we ain't worth shit. Yeah. Like period. So it's like I ain't worth nothing until I put it on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I'm worth not. I'm worth what I got on. Yeah. Like nigga, you see this fifteen hundred nigga. Yeah. This this that. Da, da, right. da, da. But nigga, what are you worth? Right. And it'd be like, it's like, because we've been, like, like conditioned, conditioned. Yeah, conditioned. Yeah. To not see the value in ourselves. Like, nigga, you should feel like a million dollars fresh out the shower. Yeah. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, but it ain't until we put it on that it's like, it's solidified because I know when they see, they right. only see what's on me. They yeah. don't see what's in it. Yeah, that's a fact. So it's like, so it's that balance with, like, the goofy shit. Like, so, yeah. so it's like. So now, because I don't feel like that is me, I gotta remind you, nigga. I got that shit on, and it's yeah. <laughs> I gotta remind. You. No facts. Yeah, right. nah, it's crazy but true, man. For yeah. sure. So like with like having these like like this like that hunger and that desire, having yo five kids. Oh, I love every one of them. Yeah, my babies, my heart, my soul. Five every, kids. Hold on, wait, wait. Everything. I I do it all for my baby. And a wife. And a wife. A unit of family, family. five and one. All my kids by one woman. One woman. Yeah. You an anomaly. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) No. And I'm proud of, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, I always said before, you know what I'm saying? I was just like, when I got out the joint, Mm. I was 22. Went in when I was 16. A kid came out of me, you know what I'm saying? And it's like. I always knew that, all right, I see a lot of these niggas in here. On the phone, stressing. Right. <laughs> like, come tell my kid to come visit. Like, you know, you, you, you stressed out. They got yeah. three, four. They running out of time. You have one minute. They cussing them out real quick. Yeah. Try to get that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was like, hell no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? They posted the pictures up in the, in our in our room. You got four, five different pictures. Like, hey, I'm straight. Yeah. I knew learning from them, like I, you know, and not knocking their situation, them, but no, no, I but that's, just want that's the one. Beautiful thing. I learned, you know, I need one, and that's it. Somebody who's gonna hold me down was there from the when we was, when I first got out, and I knew it since we was kids. Went to the same elementary school, all mm-hmm. that. But it's like, um, I, I I just always knew this what I wanted, and I stuck by it. temptation there, all that. I'm human, everything, but it's just like, nah, I, I can't. You know, I can't have no kids outside of this because I don't want to put my babies through who the hell is that? I got to learn yeah. who this kid is, you know, whoop, whoop, whoop. it's a lot of, I can go on and on, it's a lot of dynamics to it, but a lot. my kids is the biggest blessing. Like, people say that, it's, it's cliche, dog, I mean it, bro. Like, I get, I can get emotional talking about my kids just because, you know, they my rocks, they didn't literally, they the reasons for everything I do, bro. Yeah. Right. And you know what I'm saying? And it's like, if your kid, if you got kids and you not doing it for them, I can't even respect you. I can't even look at you like a man because when you bring them into the world, it shouldn't even be about you to a to a to a degree. You get what I'm saying? It's like yeah. you could you could catch, you could literally be the toughest nigga in your hood, your city, had 10 bodies. I don't give a fuck. No. You not nigga. You's a you's a boy to me. You a little yeah. you 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 a little nigga. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what gang you in. I don't care. Like I'm not scared of none of that. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. If you ain't taking care of your kids and your family, I can't. Like who are you, nigga? No. You still trying to figure who the fuck you is? You you can't. You know what I'm saying? It's like, but they my everything, bro. And I do it all for them. That's why you know what I'm saying. I I, I go so hard for real, for real. People say that shit and then don't be like. In tune with their kids and raising their kids, they say that shit for this camera. Yeah. But like when I go home tonight and I shower and kick my shoes off, I'm, my daughter is right there. In the, yeah. You know what I'm saying? My three year old, nah. my four year old, my my nine month old, my my three youngest. They literally in the bed with me. I'm about to kiss my son on his forehead, <laughs> cuddle up with my daughter and my wife, yeah. and goddamn it, turn Netflix on. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like you know what I'm saying? Like you know what I'm saying? That's just yeah. the reality. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For real. And you know, so like, and I, I love that because I think that's a, that's a that's a side that we don't often put out there. Yeah. Like, 
been married 17 years. Uh, man, beautiful, bro. Yeah. I salute you, yeah. for real. So it's like four kids. Like um, I have one prior kid. Child yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in Indiana. And yeah, then, yeah. Um, me and my wife, we got three kids, and then we had our niece that we took care of. And that's so, fire respect. But it's for just sure. like, like in doing this music thing, having <sighs> to make those choices. Like I, like I missed many. We was just having this conversation, like plenty of listening part out that shit. Like yo, I'm up. I gotta go get up in the morning and take. My son to school daycare. every morning. Then, yeah, like I'm picking them up, doing homework with them. So yeah. I, I'm missing this listening party, not going to this thing. Like, man, and man. it's just like the choices you got to make, like because you want to, like you want to provide. And it was like one of the things that I, I've, um, we sometimes we be so hell bent on trying to provide what we didn't have, and then we forget to provide what we did. Man, bro. And so trying to balance and make sure that do that that other shit too. Bro, <laughs> I relate so much to that shit, bro. I, yeah. I know. Yeah, that's real, bro. For real, for real. I try to balance it as best as I can too. Cause that's that's a real job. That's harder than anything. To me, fatherhood is the most gangster thing you could that's the most gangster role you can have. Let's throw that out. It is. No, no, let's throw that out. Yeah. That's a gangster. Mm -hmm. It's just the hardest. Yeah, thing. it's the hardest. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it is. I'm saying like I don't mean gangsters shoot them up, bang, bang. No, bro. no, but that's yeah. the thing. Yeah, it's it's the hardest. One of them generational curses. Yeah, yeah. Like how we we make we make shit cool. Right. And then they don't get the context yeah. of what we saying. Yeah. And they just take shit literal. Yeah. yeah. And run with this shit. <laughs> and have shit all facts, fucked facts, up. Facts, <laughs> no, facts, facts, facts. Sure. No, but yeah, it's yeah. fatherhood is 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 like is it's beautiful, bro, and it's and to me, it's like if you like, I will tell my brother That's about be the sound bite. See, no, yeah, fatherhood is beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> no, and then zoom in on this nigga with this chain. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's real. Like, we can be beautiful, it's nigga. Beautiful. We can be beautiful. It ain't no, it ain't no other word to use. It's exactly. other words, but that's the word. That that's fit the it. real word. If you a real father, I ain't yeah. you know what I'm saying. So it's like I teach my brother certain things, you know what I'm saying, because he ain't got no kids. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. So. It's like, you know, I teach him what to expect, how to move, you know what I'm saying? But he gonna be a great father when the, when the time, you know? I think that's that's dope yeah. oh, going to your situation when, when you was locked down, like being able to learn from other people's experiences. And it's like talking about breaking those generational curses. Fact. It's like, you can, when you see shit playing out and it's like, I don't want that shit to play out. Like, Hell no. Nah. And you take, you, you're proactive in taking the steps to 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 change the dynamics. Mm -hmm. And so like the way that you can learn what not to do from someone else. And then even with like y'all closeness and mm -hmm. you having five kids and you being an uncle and like knowing mm -hmm. what to expect and 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 being able to to be prepared for fatherhood, even through being an uncle and like being and having that, mm -hmm. like each one teach one, like like yeah. really spreading like so so much of like attaining like wealth. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I feel like we we focus on the material things and not the knowledge and the experiences that we can for share. Sure. That's with each real. Other. That's real, bro. That's a fact. Yeah. Nah, man, he gonna be all right. You know, he be. <laughs> yeah. he look at look nah, at his I'm face. <laughs> Worry about no kids, no time. Yeah, 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 yeah man. man. Tell them how you living. How you living, Ski? I'm at peace, man. <laughs> I'm living good. I'm coming into abundance, man. It's time yeah. to show out, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, man, we um, grinding too, man. So it's like everything, everything gonna pan out, man. Believe it or not, our faith crazy, bro. Yeah, we ain't real religious, but we spiritual. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, and man, every t I pray multiple times a day, bro. Multiple. I get in the car, I pray. I might look at my kids too long and just be like, man, let me pray real quick. Yeah. Thank and it might not even, I don't even a lot of times I don't even ask for nothing from the creator. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I just thank I might just want to thank you. Thank yeah. you. Bro, cause it's like I just like he he like he one of us, bro. Thank yeah. you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's like things could always be worse. Bro. You feel me? Like always. And it's like it ain't. Even you when it ain't up, it, it, it could be downer. It could be downer. 
down. It can be Shit. downer, bro. Oh. That's, the no, hey, that's the R word. That's the new word. Add that to the dictionary. Downer. It could be downer, man. Like, uh. for real, it's like, you know, it, it's it, nigga got a lot to be grateful for. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So, so like... With the industry, I think one of the things is like it's it, it's one thing finding um, a musical accord, like finding people that you that you you're compatible with musically. Yeah. But like uh, coming in this situation with Khan and and all that, like I want, wanted to speak to like the compatibility and this the 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 kinship, like yeah. like getting there as a man and like cause a lot of the stuff that Khan's on and what he's talking about with community and that type of stuff, yeah. like how does that resonate with y'all and, and and what have y'all learned as men from the experience of, uh, tapping in? I mean, I'm gonna let, I want my brother to speak too on this too. It's like, but for me, it's it's like, bro is like a walking book, like of knowledge. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. Like, you can pick his brain. You can ask him any question, bro. You're going to, you not, and I'm not stretching this or nothing. I'm not like exaggerating. Like, you literally probably going to learn nine times out of 10, you're going to learn some shit. Mm -hmm. right. And that you can take with you and apply. And even if it ain't for you, you know about it now. Right. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, we appreciate, bro. For sure. Man, beyond, like, for yeah, real, for real. Yeah, yeah. Cause he a real one for real, and and he really showing us, you know, different things that, you know, a person without that type of mentor wouldn't necessarily get, or you might have to learn through trial and error. Right. Right. You get what I'm saying? We still going through the motions. Right. But it's kind of like a, hey, we, hey, here go, here come a speed bump. Right. We might not see it though. It might be a patch of ice over it or something. Yeah. But he know about this road already. Right. You know what I'm saying? He know that usually in the winter it's it's ice on this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just like, you know, um, bro solid, man. He he just you know, and he believe in us yeah. a thousand trillion billion quadrillion percent. You know what I'm saying? He know what we capable of, he know what we're gonna do. Mm -hmm. And it's a blessing, you know what I'm saying? Having bro in our corner for sure. Nah, that's what's up. All right. For sure. What you got to say? <laughs> I would say uh, he real professional, like facts. I mean, like he know what what he doing every day. He know what he got to do. You know what I'm saying? And it's, he does it with ease. It's just easy. You know what I'm saying? He make <laughs> it look easy. He do. Like he, <laughs> nah, he just he do. been doing it for so long. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Twenty plus years, and it, it it just looked like it's just still easy. Clockwork. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I got a lot to learn from him. You know, he always dropping jewels. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just soaking up a lot of uh, uh, good shit. Yeah, for sure. for sure. That's what's up. Nah, for sure. So <laughs> now that y'all in your situation, like, what's what's next musically for you guys? Sheesh, sheesh. Uh, <laughs> taking over this shit, man. Like oh connecting with our fans and, and 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 really just showing what we made of, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, really for real, for real. Like it's been a, so long of a journey for us, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just like we got now it's, that we here, it ain't we can't play with it. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't no shade. To no other rappers or nothing, but like we really, we own that. <laughs> we own that. Like we own, own like showing, like For that sure. we we deserve the throne. You get what I'm saying? Right. Like, and what I mean by that, like I don't think it's ever been two kings to to rule the empire. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I never, you know, but we gonna show y'all it can be. Sure. It could be two kings. That, two to, kings. To, 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 to rule the empire and co king. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And co king. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's what we're really on. And we just, we, we just trying to touch people with this music for real. That might sound cliche too, but that's really, really what we on. Connecting with the fans, you know what I'm saying? Touching people with this music, bro. And, and feeding our families and, and loved ones and just elevating in every possible way. You know what I'm saying? And like I say, you know, it's possible to co king. You know what I'm saying? And and we gonna do that, you know what For I'm saying? Sure. With For no sure. problems. With ease. You know what I'm saying? With ease. So what you got to say, Ski? <laughs> uh 
I think uh I think we check all boxes. I think you know uh you know categorize it, you know we very uh diverse, versatile. You know uh songs is not sounding the same. Facts. Uh we got plenty of content, you know, to show you guys, plenty of things to speak about. Um and the vibe is 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 genuine, you know what I'm saying? When you come to us, you know what I'm saying? You know you getting you know, genuine content, genuine conversation, genuine visuals. You know what I'm saying? Everything is authenticity. Yeah, authenticity. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, nah, for sure, for sure. All right. So before we get out of here, I got one question for y'all. Mm-hmm. Each of y'all got to answer this. Yeah. There's a there's a magic lamp. A magic lamp. Yeah, magic lamp. <laughs> two of, two of the wishes have already been used. There's only one. Oh wish shit. Left. Okay. And but it it only works on the music industry. Okay. What is music. one thing that you would change about the music industry? Ski, kick it off. Um, one thing that I would change about the music industry. Um, that's a that's a loaded question. That's a loaded question. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a loaded one. Uh, Got a drum on. I'm it. talking about. <laughs> Honey round. <laughs> like straight up. That's crazy. Um I don't know. I don't I know this probably sound like some political shit, but you will learn that I really ain't the political, like correct type nigga. But this is gonna sound like that. And I would say, uh I probably I probably wouldn't change nothing, you know what I'm saying? Because if if you if you if you got it if you if you game to come in here and, and make your own way and, and 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 do your own thing, you know what I'm saying. To me, you 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 already got half of it figured out. You know what I'm saying. If you here and we listening to your music and and you and you you moving towards that direction where where you popping or whatever, you know what I'm saying. I think that you know what I'm saying that's good enough. I don't think that. I want to change anything. I'm here for a reason. I, I'm looking at what I'm looking at. What's in front of me is what's in front of me. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to. I don't need to change nothing. Not me. Maybe somebody else needs some cheat codes or some shit like that. I don't need nothing. I'm here. You know what I'm saying? And I'm ready. Uh, I don't need to change nothing. I mean, uh, for me, I would say, I would say artists getting paid more. Getting paid. Not like more as in, I'm an artist, I deserve, you know, if it's a label behind me or somebody backing me financially or whatever, like I deserve 99.9 and you get 1%. Like, nah, like, right. I ain't talking about like that. I'm t- saying like, just fairness. Like, mm-hmm. I feel like artists don't get what they deserve. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? If you got somebody backing you, you don't deserve a hundred percent of the thing just because you're the artist. Mm-hmm. That's not fair to the person backing you. Right. You get what I'm saying? So they should get what's rightfully sold theirs, and the artist should get rightfully sold what's theirs in terms of the money, the the, the monetary value. I don't think zero point zero zero three zero, whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying, on yeah. Spotify mm-hmm. is just due to the artist that's creating that. That ain't enough. That ain't that don't make sense. I'm here to argue on Spotify. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> I, that's just me. No, but, but I'm no, just no, saying, no, I agree with you. It should be more, but I don't think it should be the whole dollar. But that's the here's but a the fraction problem. of the dollar. Though? Here's the problem. I with mean, it. penny. Here's the problem: mm-hmm. is nobody buys music, right? We buy the idea of music. Right. We don't buy music anymore. Mm-hmm. Like we used to go to iTunes, all oh, that shit dropped, or it goes to used to be up in motherfucking fire with the little Fact. headphones on, listening to yeah. that new Beanie Seagull, like oh <laughs> shit, Fact. like yeah. like. So I made a decision to yeah. buy this shit. Yeah, and it's like it's like the same reason people don't pay for like websites. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. Like you pay for the internet, yeah. so you get all the websites. True. So that's where music is. You pay for Spotify, so you get all the music. Mm-hmm. And it's very mm-hmm. rare that people like that's why I like I'm so big on artists. One of the things I feel like I want artists to start asking for money. Yeah. Like I love the fact that you come in with merch. Yeah. Like it's uh, too yeah. many people moving around. It's like you want like the the music industry, the way that I always kind of describe, like the music industry a bubble. 
Yeah. Like, they've been making music for tens of thousands of years. It was free. Yeah. It wasn't until you captured it right. where it was on this CD. It was on this cassette. And right. now I could, I could, you could package it, was, it. It was for hostage. Yeah, yeah. It was like, like I got it and you can't get it unless you pay for it. Right. Then you had to pay for the thing to yeah. get the music. Right. But then they technology freed the music. It emancipated True. the music. Mm-hmm. And so now everybody has access to the music again. Mm-hmm. But it's like, so it's hard. Like, like I think they just got to redo the whole system. But it's so hard to redo the whole system because it's all these old contracts and all these old deals. And like they keep trying to apply all this old shit yeah. to this <laughs> shit that don't have right. nothing to do with none of this shit anymore. Right, right, right. right. And so like I feel you 100% like on yeah. making it fair. But yeah. it's just like they keep trying to make it fair using old shit. Old, old, <laughs> old techniques nah, and yeah. old methods and shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nah, so, so but now like like I think like we, um that's why I really wanted to point out, like, bro, y'all come in, y'all got the shirts on, y'all got the hats, yeah. you selling merch, yeah. like you gotta yeah. sell it. Yeah. yeah, like that's the like the in my personal opinion, like the business of being an artist today. Is a brand. You're a company. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. It's, it's your Hermes. Yeah, facts. Like it's whatever you you build equity in what it is that y'all create right. through the content that y'all put out. Yeah, just like uh, someone does TikTok, someone does YouTube. Y'all do Spotify. Yeah, that's y'all platform. Yeah, so mm-hmm. people go and listen to your shit on there and share your shit mm-hmm. and do that shit, and then they buy the shirt. And yeah, then they, yo, they they on tour. Oh yeah, I'm going to that shit. Like, yeah. you feel me? No, absolutely. So like that's what I, I I I love the fact that y'all actually like even with all that y'all got going on. We still on the ground with it. Yeah. Bo- boots to the pavement. It boots like, to the concrete. Sure. Yeah. It's it, like it'd be so disappointing sometimes because I've worked with so many artists and seen so many artists over the years, the second that they get in a situation. Head Everything that they did to get in that situation ends, and it's like, oh, you ain't gonna be in that situation long. <laughs> like, right. yeah, so it's, it's like, like they stop grinding for real. Yeah, nah, we ain't gonna we gonna keep hustling. God damn it, yeah. <laughs> we, we gonna put it in overdrive. Gonna, yeah, oh what? Sure. Yeah. We gonna break the motherfucker again, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And then it's just gonna stay in full speed. It's just gonna stay in fat. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. we in overdrive. We're not for sure. gonna play. Hell no, nah, at all. For sure. Uh, and so we thank you for for the opportunity, bro. No, nah, I appreciate definitely. y'all coming sure, out. Definitely. Good energy. Yeah, um, appreciate like you. I'm glad like I connected with some people and like yeah. that's that's what we all about. We like just about connecting people. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. No, so sure. that's love. Yeah. yeah but now nah, appreciate y'all once again. Um, yo, y'all make sure y'all tap in. Where can they follow y'all? Because y'all got y'all individual pages and yeah. then y'all got the sheesh, sheesh page. page. Yep. So so sheesh. Um, our Instagram and. Sheesh pages, sheesh underscore double O M. So mm-hmm. at sheesh underscore double O M. Then my individual page is at L N S underscore A O N. And my uh, Instagram is big underscore ski A O N. Yeah, yeah. Vontae Lockett for Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> why, why I you need say, everything. Why you say the I Facebook need everything. Like- he said, Vontae Lockett for Facebook. <laughs> that nigga whispered that. Yeah. My <laughs> Straight up, for real. Yo, this is Kelby Candid, publisher of Making the Magazine, founder of the membership, and another interview with Sheesh. Yeah, yeah, Sheesh. At the kickback, we hear yeah. every Monday throughout the summer. Pull up on us, RSVP, get a song on the playlist, come for get sure. some content. Yeah, yeah appreciate y'all. Pull up on me. Let's see if there's any chicken strips left. (laughs) Most definitely.